What's up guys? I'm going to show you my $8 fix for uh, the Titan leg extension leg curl machine. The problem that we're trying to address is moving from leg extension to leg curls is not easy on this machine. It wasn't thought out properly. So right now we're in a leg extension position. You're going to sit down. The goal is to move this weight forward with your legs tucked behind the pad works fine. The issue is what if you, let's say you want to superset, you want to quickly transition from extensions to curls, and you've got three plates on here. I mean, that three plates is not a lot on these machines because of the, that's not consistent resistance. If it was on a cable loaded machine, that's, that's going to start getting heavy because you got the same weight throughout the whole movement. But on these machines, you know, on this machine, if you put three plates on, you're only going to feel the three plates when you're fully extended. The rest of the time, it's a subset of that because of the, the way that gravity works and the way this you know, fulcrum system works. So right now, to go from extensions to curls with the current Titan, you know, I, I've, I've already replaced the piece, but this was the piece, the static piece that was right here that we replaced. To go from extensions to curls, what you have to do is uh, so we're going to push this as far back as we can. So this arm is as about as, no, it's not quite as far back as possible. You're going to try to get it as far back as possible. Then you're going to pick this up, rotate it over, and then it stops. So now it looks like that. So you know you're not done. So you've got to hold on to it so it doesn't fall. Come down here. Sorry, I'm doing this with the phone in my hand. Keep moving this position over. The, keep pulling on this little tab right here. And I'm going to set, sorry, I apologize. I'm going to set my phone down. Maybe you can see. So I'm going to pull the pin down. Get this hanging as low as I can. I'm sorry, get this extended out. So I'm going into the leg curl. Sorry, I had to put this down. To get this, this pulled all the way over, and now I can reset my legs into you know a position where they need to be so that I can do the exercise to get to there. So to go from extension to curl, curl extension, you're gonna move, you're gonna have to manipulate the leg, move it halfway, holding it with your body then reposition the legs, then let it move more, and then probably reposition the legs again, finally drop it, then set the legs where you need to be. It is a pain. With three plates on there, it's impossible. Like, it's just too much work. So what I thought was, why can't we just quickly bring the, the thing that stops you from doing it quickly is the, the static stop that they give you. This piece right here doesn't move. And it's funny because they give you this. This is the right idea. If this existed in a larger capacity here, where you could pull the tab and it, this, this part that sticks out would recess into the frame, you let go, it comes back out, you've solved the problem. But they are so terrible at foresight and these people who at Titan who obviously don't work out, um, they obviously don't use their equipment, in a long-term capacity to, to know to do this, completely overlooked it. And so here's my solution. I got a trailer pin. This is nothing but uh, what you would use to connect a trailer hitch to your truck. You get them at O'Reilly's, AutoZone. This is a 5 8 cost me $7, so with tax, and you got seven seventy five. and then I add some rubber bands. I have some big rubber bands. I took the the hole on this side was too small because the hole is the size of this bolt. And I made it bigger. I made it 5 8 to match this. Then that hole is bigger than 5 8 so I wrapped a rubber band around it. So now, if I want to go to leg from, I'm in the leg curl position. If I want to go from leg curl to leg extension, I pull my pin out. Ah. I pull my pin out, I just push that over, and then I put it back in. 
right there. Put my pin in. That's ready. Put my legs where they need to be. Now I can do like extensions. That easy. I need to go back to leg curls. Well, I just set this to give myself enough room. I pull the pin, yank this out, let it go the other way, push this back in, and go. Now, reset my legs. Now I'm going to do leg extensions. It's that fast. The other way takes way too long, it's way too difficult. So, and that would be even easier if I didn't have a phone in my hand to record. So, part of the problem here is, is that. It, it makes it look a little more dysfunctional than it is. But I would, you know, this is the, it's such a simple solution. It's eight bucks. If you have drill bit, you need a 5 8 inch drill bit or whatever size you're using, whatever size trailer pin. If you go a smaller trailer pin, that's fine. But just know that you're going to need to wrap it more with a rubber band or something on this side to keep it from getting loose. You know, it wiggles a little bit, but not bad like that. And then, you know, I, I wrapped extra around the end here to both protect the equipment and then it gives it a good place to stop because what you can't do is, so you, you can think, well, why wouldn't you go in from this side? Why wouldn't you do it the other way? Well, you don't have, you have a small amount of clearance on the inside right here. So when you're doing leg extensions and this arm is swinging forward, you have this much clearance, or from here to here. So you've got about an inch of clearance. So you can't have something sticking out too far here. So even if they were to use a system like this, you know, it would have to be, they would have to design it in a way that, you know, it's, it, it, it doesn't exceed that inch of clearance. Um, or they could have just been super smart, like way crazy smart. Or it do, this doesn't actually require you to be smart. They could just be a normal engineer and have this, you know, somehow have this come down, move the stop down to here to where it wouldn't have hit right there. So if this arm's short enough and this arm's long enough, you can put the stop in, pull it, and you don't have to worry about it hitting this, this arm. I mean, this is, this is the amount of forward thinking that, that Titan failed to do and the amount of thought they failed to put into their equipment. Again, for a $500 piece, I'm not too disappointed, but that's the fix. Get your trailer pin, drill, you, drill out the hole, and now you can easily switch from leg extensions to leg curls. So we're in leg curl position. I want to go leg extension position. Pull my pin, pull it out. Let it swing the other way. Push it back in. And again, this is I'm doing this one-handed, which makes it harder. So slide my pin in. But doing that one-handed was easier than going the other way two-handed. Um, so there's your fix. Get you a trailer pin. Get you some rubber bands. Eight bucks. And now you can superset easier. Keep your three plates on there. Um, I pulled this. The, you, you can, if you, if you keep your plate pushed in, you can't pull that out as easy. So I did pull it out to do this a little bit. But if you have three plates on there, you've got them, you've got them collared in. What you will have to do is you're going to have to, you know, push this enough out of the way to slide that out. That's still a, a less amount of effort than you're going to have to do doing it the other way. So I've talked about the other shortcomings on this machine. This should have gone all the way up. This circle should have continued to the top because this is a small amount of space for a leg. It's just not easy to slide into that. They should have given us more room. Um, the other thing that really needs to happen is there should have been some sort of handle here in some capacity to help us get in and out of the machine because right now I'm in the leg extension machine, so extension position. So I want to do a leg extension. The, you're not going to get the maximum amount of that leg extension unless when you're starting your leg extension, 
Because you need this basically to be as far back as possible. So that in your resting position, where you're actually going to start the exercise, really it's going to be sitting about here. Because no one's legs can go back that far with their feet. So your actual rest, when you start, you're going to be here. Well, you're feeling resistance there because, look, this arm is already forward. Gravity's pulling it down. If you start here, you know, so if you start there, there's no resistance. The first 20% of the exercise, that's, that's, there's no resistance there. You're not feeling the effect of it until you get extended out where gravity is actually pulling down on that weight. So what needs to happen is they need a way for us to be able, when we slide in, to grab a handle to essentially that would push the weight forward, this leg forward a little bit, so we can slide our legs under there. Because we want to actually start with the legs in that position. So I need a handle, because right now that's, that's so far back there's no way I can sit there. If I had a handle to grab that would kick this weight forward so that I could actually grab on, get my, get my feet under that, now I'm starting in a position where the weight is forward and I'm going to get more resistance throughout the entire exercise, the entire movement. Same on the leg curl. You know, it goes the other way too. You, you, when you're when you're starting on a leg curl, and I'm not gonna do this whole thing for you, but you know, starting on a leg curl. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed again. Forgive me. You really want to start like that, such that when you actually get your legs under in the starting position, the weight not resting but it's pulled back a little bit that means you're getting a full resistance throughout the entire movement the current way there's no you know we we need something now i understand that a handle would hit this bar so you know a hand, you have that much room of clearance so this is our clearance room to have a handle you know, this much but they they could think about it and, and help us in some capacity. Uh, and maybe a handle that folds in and out so that we can pull it and clip it back down. I don't know, some solution. But the, there's gotta be a way to improve it, improve the system. But this is a $500 machine, you get what you pay for. This was an $8 fix to this problem. I think they should have thought of that and they should have include, they can include that fix in a $500 uh, piece. Because this, this piece is probably the same cost as that. So they could just swap it for better engineering. Um, I can't believe they haven't thought of this. If anyone knows of a better solution to this problem, let me know. This is just in my little brain. I was at O'Reilly's. I saw that pin, and I had a eureka moment and went, oh, that would work perfect. You know, this would work perfect right there on my leg extensions. It just was a timing thing. I haven't really put a lot of thought into it. If you know of a better solution for this right here, by, by all means, tell me. You know, put it in the comments. I'll give it a shot. I'll make a video. Um, but this is the best thing I could come up with. Eight bucks. It's effective. It's easy. You pull the pin in and out. It looks harder than it is when you're only when you're holding the phone in your hand. But in your own gym, this is this is not a bad way to fix that solution. Titan needs to fix it. This is so, again, I can't say how stupid it is of them not to, to have realized that that was a problem, that people actually do supersets, that people immediately want to go from leg extensions to leg curls, leg curls to leg extensions in a matter of seconds so that because they're hitting their legs and, you know, they've done their squats, they've done whatever, now they're in the seated position, they're already sitting there, why can't I quickly go from one to the other? Um, it's just an, a huge oversight. So anyways, take care. If you, see, if you know of a better way to do it, let me know. But if you like this way, uh, uh, good luck, and I hope it works for you. Take care.